guys in this video i'm gonna make another face cake this time it's of a character called rocket and you may remember i did one of her before and she's also on my black lives matters poster that you guys see in the background all the time so this character is drawn by dapo idiola or you might know him as daps draws on instagram and he's a children's book illustrator and he very kindly allowed me to create his character in cake so I'm going to start with two cakes, one slightly smaller than the other one, and I'm just filling it with buttercream. So this one is a six inch cake and I've layered it in three. And then this one is actually an eight inch cake. And I'm just going to cut a little bit out of it so that I can stick my other cake in the gap. And I've gone for a chocolate cake and a vanilla cake. And you can change the sizes, guys, if you want to go for a different cake. So I've printed off a little image of his character just that I can have as reference. And we're gonna do a little bit of shaping, just dipping in at the sides of the cake for the edge of her hair and taking a little bit off around the chin. So the round bit at the top of the hair, we're just gonna cut some little kind of triangles out of, not much. It's soft enough that we're gonna be able to push the shape around a little bit. And then I'm gonna cover the whole thing in buttercream. So I just colored my buttercream orange because I thought it went well with the character's outfit and I used the colour milk. Guys, I'm going to put links below the video to everything that I've used again as well. You can find most of the stuff in my shop and I'll also put links to Dap's Instagram account so you can have a look on there as well at his work. So for this skin colour, I've used a mix. So I've used about half and half of the chocolate flavoured Renshaws and the Latte Renshaws as well, which I think give me just about the right colour for this one. Now I'm just going to cut a little sort of circle out of it so that it just covers the face in this first bit of fondant. So just place that up against the top cake, as close to it as you can, and then we're covering all that bottom cake. And then gently press it down, pushing in firmly around the bottom edge with your fingers. And then I'm just going to press in a little bit at the sides of the hair here. Don't go too hard because we don't want to go across a face with a, a line from this. Just cut any extra off from the board. And then I'm just going to mark roughly where her eyes are. I think they go about halfway up sort of the face. And then her nose is just a little bit lower down. Now, I did weigh out the paste for the nose, but then I ended up going even smaller anyway. So I'm actually not fully sure of the weight that I used in the in the nose, but go fairly small. So I've cut it more that it, so that it's a semicircle, and then we're sticking it on so that the cut flat bit is facing down towards you, and you're going to put two nostrils in that part. And I'm just going to go a little bit deeper with some eye sockets, just using a ball and tool. And then we're just going to fill them with a piece of black fondant. You can use fondant or modeling paste for this. And guys, the thinner you roll your fondant, obviously the less there is on the cake. So if you don't like a lot of fondant, go fairly thin. And then I'm just gonna mark in her mouth. Just pressing it down a little bit. So this little rubber-ended tool is actually called a cat's tongue tool. Again, I'll put links below so you know which tools I'm using. Little line in for a tongue. And then we're gonna use some of the chocolate flavored wrenchels. It's quite soft, quite stretchy. It does taste nicer, I think, than just normal chocolate. It's quite strong tasting of chocolate. But we're just going to use this to cover her top piece of hair. Cutting it extra off from around the edge. And then I'm going to press in all the way around the edges so that we're getting a bit more texture. So instead of it just looking like a circle, it starts to look more like hair. You can use a tool as well if you want a bit more definition. And then I'm going to use a big balling tool and I'm just going to press in, leaving big spaces between each press. And then between each of the bits that we've pressed, I'm going to kind of roll the ball gently. Basically, we're going to end up with lumps all over her hair, which actually works well and gives us a nice texture for a piece of hair at the top, for a little poof of hair. Now I'm going to paint inside the mouth with some diluted black powder and then pink for the tongue. Just make sure the edible paints that you're using as well, guys. Now, I started making glasses earlier for us so they'd have time to set. But when you're making your glasses, you're going to just take some grey modelling paste or flower paste. And you're just going to push them through an extruder. Now, you can do it by hand if you prefer. An extruder just gave me a more consistent sort of size piece. If I roll it by hand, I end up with the tube or sausage shape that's just a bit wonky. So I'm just going to push it through. And I've got a little circle cookie cutter just to help me create a circle shape. You would think it would be easy to make a circle, but um, I'm not very good at doing it freehand. So this cookie cutter just helps me keep the shape. And you're going to do it twice. Let's go back to our face and give her a little bit of pink blush on her cheeks. 
So it's just dry powder, edible powder that we're using on the cheeks. Let's add us some teeth. I'm just using a little bit of white fondant and we're just going to press that into our mouth, making sure it's touching the top part of our mouth. Let's leave a little gap. And then you're going to take some blue for the background, or you can use a different colour background if you want. So I've got blue fondant, I've got two different shades of blue, and I tried to leave them a little bit marbled. I thought it would look quite nice. Um, it didn't quite work as well as I thought, so <laughs> maybe you should just go with one single colour. See what you think. I'm just cutting out a little bit of a curve, or two curves, for her hair and her face. Tiny bit of water on the board. And we're going to push that round to just touch with the face and the top of the hair. Cut any extra off from around the edge of the board. And then you're just going to repeat the same on the other side. So once you've trimmed off all the extra from around the board, just trim through where both pieces meet at the bottom as we're going to cover this up with her sort of neck and body later. And then I'm going to roll thin some more of the brown. And we're going to cut little triangle shapes. I want quite fat triangles. And we're going to put them over where her hair is at the side. So where we've put the ridges is going to be where the edge of the triangle sits. So we're covering sort of the bit of the head that sticks out. So we left the head that weird shape so that actually it would go underneath the hair, giving the pieces of hair volume. And then we're just going to put some lines across for a bit of texture. You can just repeat it on the other side. And then we'll add some smaller individual sort of pieces of hair just coming out from the top piece of her hair. So once you've added all the hair and texturized it, and you can spend longer on it than I have done, I'm going to do a piece of white for sort of the inside of her collar. And then we want some more of the skin tone, a little sausage shape of it for the neck. So it's going to go over the top of the collar. And I've just got some black fondant here. We're just going to roll her a couple of little eyebrows. And then I've got a thick piece of black that's going to be the front of the collar. So the white bit of the collar is sort of the inside piece. Black's the outer piece. And let's roll a thin bit of white to go along the edge of that black. And then a thin strip of white coming down the front. I've just left a bit extra pushed down there. And then let's draw in the start of like a big zipper. I think it's a zipper. And then we're going to use a bit of orange for the top of her body. So I'm not going to fit much body on here. Now I'm just using fondant because it's easier for the neck and the body. You can put cake in this part if you want. But because it was going to be such a small amount of cake, it was just easier with fondant. So it's more for decoration purposes really this. So I want two balls of this skin tone and we're going to stick these on for the ears, squishing them down a little bit just to make them that look a bit bigger and just press against the head and also press firmly onto the cake board. And then put a couple of little lines in each ear. And she's got some star earrings. So I've got a little cookie cutter here. I think it's one that I got free in a magazine many years ago, this one. So I'll try link everything I've used below. I don't think I know where the star cutter came from though guys it's so old <laughs> so it's just yellow fondant in her earrings and then just to texturize now the top piece of hair i'm just using like a circle plunger cutter so any kind of thing that's got a curve on it and we're just going to press it in just to give it a bit more texture so you can swap and use like the back side of a piping nozzle just be careful you don't press so firm that you cut through and the buttercream underneath comes out and then she's got a little bit of hair that we just see coming down from sort of the back of her head Around the back of her neck a little bit so just squeeze a bit of fun on there some nice thin pieces so it looks like looser strands of hair as well gets a little bit sticky does the fun when you try to roll it really thin sometimes and you could continue doing this sort of anywhere you wanted on the hair really so you could put the odd piece on and for the board i'm going to use these chocolate like sprinkle things you can see in the middle so you don't have to cut yours in half those more so you guys could see what's in the middle of them they're kind of like a crispy biscuit cereal kind of treat with chocolate and then the silver candy covering. But I thought these would make nice little stars in the night sky in the background. They come in all different shapes, but the round ones I think just work best for this. So the glasses that we made earlier, we're going to just place on her face. Now they do have a little seam on the glasses where we joined them together. You can fill it in with some more modelling paste if you want. 
because I did this in a Facebook Live, I didn't have a huge amount of time, so I just left them as they were. And you can see I've just took the glasses under her hair, so I had to put a little cut in the fondant in the hair just to nudge them underneath there. And then we'll put a small piece of the grey modelling paste over the top of her nose. And then let's put some little black stripes on her outfit. So we're not going to see much of these stripes. Again, I'm just looking at an image of Rocket that I've got printed off for a bit of guidance. So we can only see a tiny bit of these, but still by adding it on there, it just gives it a bit more detail. If you want to add a bit of shading to the hair, what you can do is take some edible powder. I've used black and we've diluted it a lot with dipping solution. So you can use clear alcohol or lemon essence. And the more diluted it is, the runnier it will be. So it will run into the creases and cracks, making the creases look a little bit darker. And I forgot to do the bit of hair behind her head down near her neck and I didn't notice till I was filming this video guys and this is the little 3d model version I made for a draw this in your style competition and now the cake is all cut quite a bit of buttercream in this one so I hope you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this weekly thanks for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below you can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.